Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this whole series or for the introduction of that series in which we're going to build a little Unreal Engine project. It is deceptively simple yet fairly complex under the hood. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the one that I've shown to some of my Patreon supporters already. This is a simple character selection project that is started with the third person template in Unreal Engine. When we press a button, a little menu comes up and we can select another character. We can dismiss the menu again and walk around. It's kind of a kind of a cool start here. But there's so much more happening under the hood. So not only can we pick a character, we can also pick his or her outfit with the one, two, three, and four keys. And not only that, we can also pick the character's skin color. So the skinty, the skinty, the Sinti packs come with 12 textures, four for the main outfits, one, two, three, and four, and then uh, variations, two variations each of that, making up a pack of 12 textures in total, all of which can be applied to any of the character meshes. And they then make up not only outfits, but also skin colors with outfits. Now notice how when I pick a character here, let's say this woman, and I pick an outfit, like say this one here, and then I go and pick a skin color, the outfit actually stays the same. So I'm having a look at what outfit or what texture does the character currently have, and then I'm making the new selection based on that. So that's kind of a little tricky bit. So we're going to do this. We're going to go and retarget the Sinti characters and make them playable. We're also going to play with two levels. So notice now that I've got my guy with the blue hoodie selected, if I go into the day level, that comes with the Polygon City pack, he survives that level load. So usually if you don't take precautions, these characters will be wiped out and it's as if you play the game with a fresh level. So I'm showing you how to store all these values so that they survive a level load with two levels, the day level and the night level. Here we go. This is him in the rainy Polygon City night. And that's kind of cool. Also, the whole program, the whole, sorry, the whole project is fully gamepad compatible. So this, uh, up until now, I'm bringing the menu up with the Alt key, bringing it up and dismissing it. When I select a new character, the menu stays in the same position until I dismiss it. Also notice it says switch outfit with one to four, change skin tone with five to seven. If I dismiss that and bring up my gamepad, my golden PlayStation 4 controller, I can go and bring the menu up again. And then we don't see a cursor and the character that I'm currently using is pre-highlight until I highlight another one. If I'm using the gamepad, there's a different message and the menu is dismissed the moment I pick another character. There's a playable version of this available on my Kofi store. Then you can put it through the ringer and test it both with the gamepad and with the keyboard and mouse and see what you think. And if you game, let's go and build this thing from scratch, step by step. That project also comes with the zip file of these little icons here. So if you don't want to make your own icons, I've made those in Blender. Part of me wanted to show you the whole process in this series, but I thought, nah, it's going to take it too far. I've got a video on my channel that kind of shows you how to do this. So if you're game for making this happen, then uh, go brew yourself a gallon of coffee, take two to three hours out of your day, and let's do this thing from scratch. The whole series is, of course, completely free on YouTube with adverts. But if you support me via Ko-fi or Patreon, you get ad-free access to the episodes. You also get early access to some of the episodes. I'm going to release these kind of, you know, one a week or two a week. But the whole series is going to be available faster on Patreon and Ko-fi. If you want to support me, drop a buck into my tip jar. If you don't, that's fine. Grab yourself a coffee and let's get started.